Keeping up to date with digital marketing trends is a fundamental part of our daily work as marketers. To do this, there is an essential tool, Google Trends. Google Trends is a free Google resource that allows us to know what terms users are searching for. We can use it to plan the structure of our website, improve SEO, get ideas for content, and so much more. So let's see what it is, how it works, and how to use this tool to create more relevant and successful content. Google Trends is a free tool used to compare the popularity of different words and phrases that users search for in Google. More specifically, it compares the frequency that users search for them. The popularity of terms is shown on a scale from 0 to 100, and it displays their evolution since 2004. So, as its name suggests, it is very useful to identify trending topics and how their search volumes evolve over time. It is important to keep in mind, however, that it only shows data for keywords with a certain volume of searches, and that the data is relative, not absolute. It also offers tools like a global heat map that measures the interest for a keyword in different locations, a list of keywords related to each search term, and the option to compare up to five terms at once. Let's quickly review how to use Google Trends. If you go straight to trends.google.com, you will find its homepage. Using the main search box, you can write a keyword or a topic to discover what users around the world are searching for. Under the search bar, you'll also find some examples of popular comparisons between keywords. If you scroll down a bit, you'll see daily search trends, information about the year in search, news stories, and more. If you switch to the Explore tab, you can add a search term, see trending topics and queries, and more. In the Trending Searches tab, you'll find a daily ranking of new terms and even real-time trends in your region. Under Daily Search Trends, you'll find queries with search traffic that has increased significantly in the last 24 hours. The data is updated every hour. Meanwhile, under the Real-Time Search Trends tab, you'll find queries whose traffic has increased a lot recently. The data is a combination of knowledge graph topics, search interests, and Google News articles. The algorithm ranks news according to the relative increase in volume and absolute volume of searches. Given their strong relationship to current events, these sections can be very useful for searching for topics to quickly produce content or to join the conversation in social networks. Clicking on a news item on the Search Trends page displays additional context. The real-time search trends graph combines data on Google News and Google Search. The bar chart represents the number of Google News articles written per hour and corresponds to the gray axis on the right, while the line chart represents the Google Search interest over time and corresponds to the blue axis on the left. Let's finally write a search term and see its results. For example, if you write Stranger Things and select the most appropriate version, in this case, drama series, you will see a full breakdown of everything Google knows about the search term starting with the volume of searches and its evolution over time, searches related to a particular term or topic, whether a particular keyword or a term is booming, and its expected evolution in the future. You can also filter the results to choose a specific time frame, region, topic category, and platform from web search, image search, news search, Google Shopping, and YouTube search. All of this data can be downloaded in an Excel for further analysis and processing. So, how should you use Google Trends for your SEO strategy? One option is to use it to get new keyword ideas. The easiest way is to enter a term in the platform and then consult the suggestions that appear in related topics and related queries. One of the main uses of Google Trends is to identify seasonal content. There are certain searches that recur at certain times of the year, such as those related to events or notable dates. We can leverage this information to create and promote related content at just the right time. Using Google Trends data also complements keyword research by distinguishing between popularity and search volume. For example, a keyword may have a lot of monthly searches at any given time, but these may correspond to one-off peaks of interest rather than a continuous high volume. Identifying trending topics and keywords is very important to create content that ranks quickly. This is especially useful for media about news and current events. The comparative function of Google Trends is useful for keeping track of the competition and detecting strengths and weaknesses of your strategy. For example, you can compare searches for your brand and your competitors. However, keep in mind that this strategy will only work if you both have a sufficient volume of searches. You can also compare different ways of expressing the same search intention and decide which one to use in your content depending on their respective popularity. You can also use Google Trends to assess key terms associated with your website and correlate them with your website traffic. For example, you can see if a sudden drop in organic traffic is due to a drop in popularity of the associated keywords or other factors. Finally, you can use Google Trends to plan your geographic targeting, thanks to its heat maps. 
By analyzing the places where there are more queries related to your products and services, you will be able to target your SEO strategy to the countries or locations where the most users are performing searches related to your website. As you can see, Google Trends is a very underrated tool that you can use for free to level up your SEO and content marketing strategy. But if you want to take things even further, you might need to start using a pillar page and topic cluster strategy. Click on the video that appears on the screen right now to learn more about it. We'll see you there.